Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Oh, oh. good. Money. I am your Dungeon Master Darius, and last we left off, I decided, you know what? I was going to do a little bit of grinding for stuff, and I have. I've also gone a, a little bit around and uh, been exploring some, because I don't necessarily want immediately to go right to the bad place with a good foot. Uh, so there's a couple of places I could try to go first. And yes, I did climb all that way up using sheer willpower and the ability to simply, you know, make a laser path that I can go through. <coughs> Anyways. Ow. I'm gonna my ass hand it to me in case anyone's not noticed. Good. I want that. Oh well, yeah. I've crafted a bunch of foods. Scrumptious. I've done a little bit of also side stuff like getting people things and hunting down the monsters. Here yeah, those murderers dead. But nothing excessively noteworthy, I guess. Let's see. Alright, let's hit the save point first. Just so as I don't lose all that wonderful, beautiful progress that I've made. And also, also as you can tell, I brought out Deathbringer. Bloodbringer. Bloodbringer? Whee! And he's pretty cool. I have leveled him up several times, but uh, he's now at the point where it's a little hard to continue leveling him up without, you know, more grinding. I've essentially had to kill a bunch of Bloodbringers just to use him. And hey, the more powerful he gets, uh, you can actually use him as a, a physical weapon weapon. Why am I going this way? I don't fully know. I've got a bunch of things I can kill here and here, but I think I'm going to off-screen that. I wanted to try to get up here, but I think that's proven impossible without stuff. I could... I think the only real path that I can go is into the well. Because this path is complete. Uh, that leads to Dead Ends Bill after a fashion. Oh, wait. I could. I could show that off, but I think um, I'll hold off on that simply because I know I'm not strong enough to deal with it. <coughs> Go ahead and get our heavy cream. So, what yeah. would be? Um, I could increase my double jump. The fairy wing I get off of the sides. Sids. Today. How do you pronounce that? From the experimental labs. Not really gonna do that. <coughs> you can get the Dola Hammer heads. From the Dola Hammers. Resist petrification you get from the golden ones, which are fun. Got a few more healings, but I don't think there was anything... Oh, yeah. I'd gotten throwing axe up there because I, I like throwing axe. Hey, because of that heavy cream, I can make some other stuff. All right, so if I make red bean paste really quick... I'll go with this. And maybe some I'll cheese. I'll make the Great. strawberry cake. Mmm, strawberry cake. And I've all, and again, you can see which ones I've already eaten, so. Not exactly like you can, you need to worry about them. <coughs> as far as I've seen, I've upgraded head flail as best as I can. I would just need to grind the dollar hammers until I can get the raid up. Which I'm not entirely certain what it is that the grade up does. 
You get the rank up. What's the grade up? I don't know. Uh oh crap, don't tell me I need to go all the way through the cat. Oh. I can go this way. The Bloodbringer is pretty damn edgy. And I don't even mean stop that. <laughs> I don't even mean that as a sword. He's just edgy. He'll be running around going Done. I mean, like five seconds. Which, you know, I guess when you're a bloodthirsty sword that wants nothing but, you know, blood. I guess that makes sense. Anywho. This bit's a little bit gross. Gross! I stand by what I say, that, uh, blood is far more disgusting than hair. Think of all the diseases, man. Whee! Is this a false wall? No? Alright. And now, imagine how filled with this, with blood this cavern has to be. Make more sense to pull a switch or something. Forbidden underground waterway. Now, for anyone that's watched my randomizers, uh, you would know that this place is a giant pain in the ass. Why? Well, because a lot of the time, whenever I play my randomizers, <coughs> I am kind of stuck. Oh, hey. Words of Wisdom. That's actually a really good one. See, was this one a dead end? Ah! The Boers. Great weapon you make. Terrible otherwise. And this is pretty much why I have a bad time. Ooh, fried fish. Because, uh, there's a little bit of a swimming in element in this. And, generally speaking, you can't get anything unless you have the ability to move underwater. Stupid bats. In randomizers, you can really have the bad luck in order to get those. Also, leapers. Charge your enemies with your spear at the ready with the Gondo Shizunori and the Lingyan Jun. Cool. Hey, look, a save point. Better save. By the end of it, too, I'm spending a lot more time in this particular Let's Play, if only because I'm doing grinding. And I don't mind that, because the grind is fun. <laughs> the music is good, the m in monsters are interesting. It was kind of the same thing with, um, <coughs> Symphony of the Night. Ow. Ooh, hello. Oh, hey. Something from the... Oops. I'm in water lover. Yeah, I think we're good. I think I'm good. This place is actually really good for getting healing items, because fried fish heals for quite a bit. <coughs> Dare I say, might be one of the better healing items in the game. Like, no joke, per what you get, versus what you spend to get it. Pretty damn good. Not to mention, I think those fish that we encountered also drop it, so... 
Wow, I've been getting really lucky with those words of wisdom. It's almost annoying. Yeah. I like to kill those things before they go running away. Oh, this is where we get crystal. Okay. Sorry, remembering things for crafting purposes. Because I will be crafting. Can't go down, so we gotta go. Just swim. I only dog paddle. Okay. So, Aqua Stream is neat. It's pretty much a, um, a constant water jet that you shoot off. With the biggest benefit that it will push you. So you can use it something like a jet. Which is neat. Ah, good. Warps. No need to warp right now, though. Eh, eh, eh. Get that horsey. So, we can take the reflector and do one of these. And because uh, we're underwater, it's infinite amount of MP. This is absolutely great. I do not think that the amphibian speed works as wanted. Hello. Careful of the edge you got there, Deathbringer. Let's see, is this what I want to do? Where I want to go? Oh, I mean, besides... Besides the level up? And the HP? Alright. So now I could push my way this way. And that will get me back to underneath the bridge. Uh. Eh. Actually, wait, am I remembering? God, I really wish I remember half the shit that I do better. I'm going to quickly try the amphibian speed. Nope. It does make it so as I gain HP while I'm underwater, though. So there's that. Allows me to do this. That's about it. You back. Might as well fill out this other direction. Eh. Disco Inferno! Kill the leper. Oh, hey. More MP. Get a bat. I think those things petrify. Yeah, they petrify. Ow. Am I not yet done with the thing? Oh wait, did I? F I forgot to go right. Okay, place is a lot bigger than I seem to recall at the moment, so give me a second while I re-equip the things I am going to use. I swear that this place is just a giant-ass ride for the, um, booers. Because it's pretty much what you get. 
Hey, look. Mahogner. The Rose Ring, I think, increases the amount of MP you get back from ending in all uh, Rose Mana. Mana Rose. Nailed it. Give me money. I suppose one of the great things about this place, though, is the amount of money that you can easily get just by walking through. Critical ring. That one increased the chance, or it just increases the... Yeah, that one does what I think it did. Ah, the likelihood of criticals. Hello, Mr. Demon. Goodbye, Mr. Demon. Let's see. This is one of them, their transitional ones. Like, one of the whole reasons I bother with the head flail is just because of the amount of range it has. I won't lie. Like, why bother with any other ones when you can just 100% hit an enemy? Fresh fish in platinum. Yib. Damn it. I was hoping for health, but I guess ammo's fine. Ooh, that's right. One of the other benefits of having this ability. And where's this going? Uh, this way. Oh, wait. I think this is under that well in the gardens. Don't quote me on that, though. Like, I think if we keep going up this way, it's going to take us right to the gardens, which I don't mind. Terribly. Map completion and whatnot. Oh. Voice changer. You know what? For a brief moment, why not? Because it is funny. Yep. That's all it does. Changes her voice. Hello, Shovel Knight. And that just reminds me of another game that I had need to be a Let's Play of. Or redoing a Let's Play of, rather. I get back my cut purses. Now for a while, too, I had completely forgotten that I had that uh, anti-luck ring on when I was trying to do some grinding. Yeah, the uh, a solid 10, 20 minutes or so before I realized it. It was a sad time. It was a sad time. And... Hey, look. Now I have a shortcut to it. Yay. This is fine, though. We got... I still like this place. I believe the music is so calming. Even though you don't hear a good chunk of it sometimes. I don't think that there's any other secrets in this room, though. Which is fine. Not all areas need secrets. Summon the Shovel Knight. And yes, I know it's called Salt... The Shovel Armor. I will never not call it Shovel Knight, though. Whack. 
Had to check. Uh, secret. But yeah, it pretty much summons up the Shovel Knight to do the one thing he does. Which is throw a thing. And then that's about it. Oh, well, I get another Boer. That's neat. These caverns are lovely. Lovely. God damn it. This is what I get for recording in the morning. A second Traverse's Ring? I guess I can't complain. Traverse's Rings are stupid good. Eh. Oh. I want to know what that hiccup was. Sapphire, though, that's... Uh, trying to remember what I need the Sapphire for besides selling it. I'm not even giving those toads the time of day. More Sapphires. I'm getting so lucky with those drops. That said... Not exactly sure what else there was around here. Do I have always gotten the seal equipment at this point? Theoretically, you can actually get down here pretty damn fast. It's traversing it that's a giant pain in the, bar in the butt. Because A, most of the monsters are going to be stronger than you. With the Surumaru, Dojigiri, and the Mikazuki, you can do Zenzatsu-san. 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 Point is, you can do stuff. But yeah, you can... You can't get down here, it's just traversing is a giant pain because... You gotta be able to kill one of those, uh... Get squirty guys. And those are off in the next, next room. Which, um, you can get to. But it requires some good manipulation of gravity. Yeah, I wonder what's behind the waterfall. Loot. Another critical ring. You know, in case you really, really want a critical. Theoretically, we can get up here. Actually, can get actually pretty high up here. Can I get up there? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, okay. That was unique. <laughs> First off, I wasn't even sure that was actually a chair mimic. Second off, what the hell was that? Uh, anyways, I... I think there... God damn it. I think the waterfall is where you can go down from where you see that witch. The cursy witch. Damn it. I don't want to swap out right now. Well, yes, I probably could just use shortcuts. That'd make things easier. Shut up. Actually, I think those fish also drop fried fish. Which is rather messed up when you think about it. Stupid frog. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm just trying to think when's the earliest point you could theoretically actually get to 
Whoa. Hello, you want that? I'm barely gonna bother with any underwater exploration. If that ain't obvious at this point. Stop that. Is there something over here in the wall? No. Lovely music is lovely. Let's see. So there's over here I hadn't gone through. Down over here that I could, I think. Uh, this way that I can't. A whole lot of this stuff is underwater, is the thing. And while there's nothing wrong with underwaterness in this game, I swear. It's just that there's so much riches and whatnot that you can't get. Like, once we get over here, you'll see. Look at that. Can't get that. Dang it. Can't get a lot of things. Oh, wait. I'm suddenly remembering what is this way that I can do, and I hate it. Fiery passions of a thousand suns. Hate these. Go ahead and have some of that fish. Oh, come on, just go. Maybe I should just come this back this way once I've actually got what I need to traverse it safely. Ah. Oh, at least those guys have given me clams. That's nice of them. Yeah, you might just think to yourself, oh boy, look at all this treasure that I can't possibly ever get. And you know what? You'd be right. That's why you gotta wait to get it. I wonder how much damage that actually does outside. But welcome to the hidden deserts. This is also another not nice place. For one, the ghosts actually take effort to kill. For two, the sands. For three, living fossils. But they drop crystals, so, you know, pans out. I actually need to kill four of these guys anyway, so. You know what? I think that can, uh, I think that can be put off for a second. Guys, there's a warp gate. Ooh. Place is nasty, yo. The desert. Underwater. I forget exactly what it is I need to kill in order to use the underwater segment relatively easily anyways. Actually, do you have any more? None that I haven't already taken. Hello, Johannes. What are we transmuting this time? Uh, good question. What are we transmuting this time? I would hope. Yes, the Blute Gung. I'll go with this. It's a new sword, which I actually need uh, to make multiples of to increase someone else's goddamn shit, which is a little annoying. But I, I, I digress. Let's see. 
don't think there was anything else I wanted necessarily to upgrade. Yeah, I need more blue guns to do sword expertise. And then I think after that it's... Not the grams, what is it? I forget what it is. Words of Wisdom, occasional zero MP cost. Which is fantastic. Come back anytime. No words of wisdom today. Excellent. Also, I think luck go governs what it is what that uh, out of the. Oh, I can just buy more blue gongs. That's right. Uh, I suppose that's a lot easier, but it's not as cheap. Let's see. Storied blade that has cracked the skulls of myriad adv adversaries. That's pretty cool. Let's see, that is also a club. Wielded by a thunder, by a storm god. Man, so many good, good Thank weapons you. and whatnot. Yes. Lady, you're never getting your clam chowder. You already got the french fries off of me. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and save and call an episode. When we return, we now have a desert to go explore. We went from a watery place to an underground desert. This is so much. So much, but I love it all. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. As always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.